All right, do you ever binge watch the artistically superior animation of Bruce do? Look at this great stuff. We all had that friend growing up that uh, had all the cool toys that you never had. You get all jealous like, oh, cool, look, he's got a Nintendo 64 and I'm over here with uh, three Lincoln Logs. Cool. Can't you relate to what he was saying? I never had an N64. Hell, I didn't even have Lincoln Logs. I had to pretend using hot dogs. I had to eat my toys for dinner. <laughs> No name brand Batman toys for Alex Clark. I was playing with knockoffs like Dollar Store Batman. Box just says Batmany. It's got one leg that's a toothpick, got a really cool invisible cape made out of Ziploc bags, so he can suffocate himself to end his misery. Things have changed since then. I feel lucky to have success, so I always love when I get to give back. That could be donating to charity or helping out friends in big ways, like we bought Bruce to a fourth Lincoln log. Oh, gee, thanks, Alex. I can finally retire now that I got the fourth Lincoln log. Well, recently, I gave something to somebody. It's actually the same thing Bruce Do's video was entirely about. It's something kind of small. Trampolines. What a great, fun way to do backflips. They're also a great way to injure your friends and blame it on joy. I have a great story about joy, if you know what I mean. Here's what happened. A few years ago, I decided to surprise my buddy and his daughter with a brand new tramp o -lean. And boy, have trampolines changed. Like when I was a kid, it was just this round thing you bounced on until you fell face first into cement. You know those kids, the dumbasses that were eating shit. It served as a gatekeeper for my generation. It ensured only the strong survived. Well, apparently they have changed trampolines. They got these things called safety cages. <sighs> Here's my commercial for the safety cage. Don't use this unless you're lame. A safety net is only for prissy scaredy cats. So my buddy Pat looks at the trampoline and he's like, nice, it has a safety net. Wow, really? I'm just thinking, wow, it must have hurt falling off the trampoline when you were a child because you are clearly a dumbass! Now, Pat and I have a jokey sense of humor. There was a whole year where we tried to surprise attack each other with a slap to the nuts. That's the kind of stuff we think is funny. Dumb bruv jokes. So my buddy Pat was 100% convinced the safety net was the safest way to go. Even his daughter was like, I thought you had balls, dad. He makes a huge deal about setting it up. He invites us over for a barbecue. Everyone's eating hot dogs and hamburgers. There's one poor kid in the corner watching us eat his toys. Meanwhile, Pat's going over all the safety features of the trampoline like he's some sort of safety inspector at an amusement park. This seems to pass by 172 point safety checklist. It's safer than any ride at Legoland. Pat was just being Way too cautious. Like when he finally got on the thing. He crosses the moat, puts on his knee pads, the helmet, puts on the safety line, kisses his Peppa Pig doll for good luck. I'm not gonna make fun of him for that. I love Peppa Pig. She is one woke porker. Anyways, he's doing everything you would expect from a prissy wannabe. Now, I gotta give my friend props because the dude was surprisingly confident with the bouncing. First bounce, he got some height. Second bounce, he rocketed into the sky. Third bounce! You could tell he was an equal combination of fearful and excited. You know what he looked like? He looked like the kid that pisses himself on the roller coaster and is happy about it. He's soaring through the sky like some sort of giddy middle schooler that pissed himself. He was so high that he was like twice the height of the safety net. And as this nut monkey came flying back down, his legs were so out of control that they straddled the safety net and he landed nuts first onto the safety bar. <laughs> the whole thing toppled over. Everyone's like, oh my God, is he okay? And in true dude friend fashion, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> if you're a child that's laughing at this story, you are on the right path to adulthood. They actually tore down the net that day and gave it to the hot dog kid. He used it as his Halloween costume. He dressed up as Batmany. Bruce Stu, I challenge you to make a video about hiking or waterfalls because I got one coming up and I'd love to see your version of that topic. And for the fans, today's the last day to pick up Sugar Heist at sugarheist.com. So definitely grab the card game today. And also, uh, thanks to everyone that helped make this video, including Jeff, who uh, is the lead animator and today is his birthday. Happy birthday.